Here we go. They lose three life. We've got to repeat the process six times. Everyone, it's Erlen TG here. Welcome to today's Crimson Vow. Next standard deck that I'm putting out there, and it is Dimir. We're going Dimir today. We're going Dimir. Slug control. Why slug? Because Toxrel the Corrosive is a cool slug horror creature. A big 7-7. Seven, seven. It's a great finisher for Dimir control. Uh, begin of each end step, put a slime counter on each creature you don't control. Um, creature you don't control, get minus 1-1 one, one for each slime counter. Whenever a creature you don't control a slime counter dies, create a 1-1 one, one black slug. And you can pay two to sack a slug and draw a card as well, so it can also sack itself if it's in removal and we can't protect it in any sort of a way. You can get some value, potentially sack it and draw a card. So we're going to be protecting it. We're going to be countering stuff. We're going to be, you know, mass removal because we are, you know, Dimir. That's really cool. I'm not going to snow route. We're not going blood on the snow. Um, we are going the meat hook massacre. So we're going to play four meat hook massacres as our mass removal spell. And I'm also trying out this new card that I've really enjoyed playing, Consuming Tide. Uh, each player chooses a non-land permanent they control, return all non permanents not chosen. So potentially we'll be keeping either Toxrill or Professor Onyx or one of our Sorins on there as, you know, seeing what we might keep. This can be a win con. Sorin the Murphus is great in control, looking at the top cards. Now, the CMC is 2.9, so it's not too bad. 33 non-creatures, only three creatures. I did try this out with different creatures and everything like that, but I went for like a full-on sort of controlling build. Um, fading Hope, bouncing stuff, scrying really good. Removal in Blood Chief's Thirst. We've also got Infernal Grasp. I've already spoke about the Beard Miku Massacre that is really good, draining and gaining a little bit of life as well. Counter Magic, what do we have? We've got Test of Talents in there. Uh, good against any decks that are relying on those instant sorcerers. We can catch one of them and then get rid of the rest. It's a really good, really good catch, a really good card. Uh, Divide by zero because we're going to be running the cyborg. If you want, you know, why would you not want seven extra cards? Uh, then we've got Sorry coming in as a two of as well. So, other little cards I'm putting into this build the Celestas can gain life, draw cards, discard, and it can add mana rampers out because there's, you know, seven mana, six mana. We do want a little bit of help potentially, and then we're you know we've got Hall of Storm Giants. There's six as well to turn into a creature. Um, this card I'm loving. Witness the future, shuffling stuff back. So shuffling them, but you know, Tox real back. We've got three of them, Professor Onyx. We can get them back into our library. Look at the top four, and then put something in our hand for three mana. This is really good. I love it. It's still three, but yeah, still decent. Siphon Insight. Top two cards, target opponent's library. Extra one face down. We get to play it. Uh, it's really cool. Play any mana. And it's got flashback for three. More hand disruption. This is today's deck. We'll be controlling, hopefully, the battlefield. And then getting towards our finishers, which will be Toxreal. And then if we need it, we've got Professor Ronix there with a bundle of spells. And maybe a minus seven to do some damage and protecting itself with the vampires. And like I say, we've also got Hall of Storm Giants. High for the eye tire as well. So we can attack from the lands as well. Dimmer Control. One of my favourites. Let's get to the cyborg quickly. Mascot Exhibition. Nothing much different in this to a normal one. Environment sizes. Bit more card draw if we need it. An introduction to Annihilation. Mascot. And confront the past to return something like a nice little planeswalker. Because we've only got three there. Back to the battlefield. Is it back to the battlefield? Or is it back to hand? I think it's back to hand. Isn't it back to hand? Back to hand. Back to hand. Back to graveyard battlefield. That's, yes. Oh, that's really sweet. Right. I'm excited to play this deck. Let's go and give it some games and hopefully get some W's. Right, here we go. I'm in Platinum at the moment. Hopefully going to rank up today. Um, yeah, that's not bad. we got lands. Lands is always nice. So let's go in with our Tyrant. And then we can enter the battle for Tad. Let's control two or more other lands. Prosperous. Okay, um, let's put that over there, shall we? Bit of story coming. Get our blue mana next, which is nice. And I've still got the bat. Well, I'm playing Dim here and, you know, it's a nightly creature. Scoot Swarm. Whoa. Scooty McDuty Swarmy Bormy. Okay. Yeah. There's going to be some protection coming. Now, this is three mana, which is really, really annoying. So, what should we do? And there could be protection coming. So, I could use this, but I need to kill this. 
which is nice. Um, bounces on the Prosperous Innkeeper. I think we just say pass and go. Pass and go seems good. Like the good blue player I am. Werewolf Pack Leader is definitely worthy of a count spell. And we'll leave those little 1-1s one -ones up there. Oh, opponent missed the land. Love to see that. Love to see that. Um, let's go there. I am actually sending this back now. A fading hope again. Okay. To Bayman, I should have killed it there. Possibly. Possibly. Possibly was the right answer, but I want to see what comes down next. If it's just another scoot, so I'll probably just divide. Played the land before the scoot swarm. Well, that was a mistake. Vastwood surge. Yep. That can go. And I shall get. Where are you? Let's get my land. Okay, hit for two. Nice, nice. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. Get one of these and pass the turn. End turn. So I'm thinking Scooty Swarm's got to come down now, surely. Then I'll Blood Chiefs it. I probably played this a bit backwards. Um, first game of the day, you got, you know, feel sorry for me. Okay, Field of Ruin. Okay, I could play... I want to... Yeah, I want to kill this first. I want to kill that first. And then I can go Professor Onyx. I like opponent is like all green here. Ascendant is a nice card. Where is one of my Meat Hook Maskers, please? I want my Meat Hook. Give me my meat hook. Right, there we go. I'm going to find my meat hook. Come on. So we go uh, Blood Chiefs. Saw it coming. There. There. Give me my meat hook. That's not my meat hook. So we're going to have to take that. Um, I'm going to have to kill Scooty Swarm. And hope we can find it with the witness. Uh, we've got two, four, six, seven. That'd be eight mana, six. Nice. Send a pack leader. Excited to see this card. I thought it was quite good when I saw it spoiled. Uh, Seems to fit very nice into the wolf deck. We're down to seven. We've got to be a bit careful, you know. Uh, we're going to have to go for it again. Uh, one, two, three. We're going to have to go for it again. We still don't get it. Okay. Um, wow. I'm really surprised about that. All right, let's go there. And I think we send this back now. Because we don't want any protection coming. And we'll take this because... I mean, we could draw cards. Do we draw cards? I think we draw. We need to draw some cards in a minute. I was thinking about taking, you know, getting the life, but there's two damage there. Two, four, six, seven, eight. That'd be nine mana. We can play Professor, do teachings. Probably best to do it that way around so we gain the life. We're going to go to five here. Vast with Surge. Okay, so least us. Let's go here. That's um, that will put us to four, but then we go back up to six. Uh, I think we're going to have to take the meat hook. Back to six. Draw some cards. We just need to survive to get the meat hook in. So, any time to pump, we're going to be in trouble. Pack leader comes in. I 
Doesn't have haste, thank god. So we can do this. Where will, oh, opponent going all in. This is perfect for us. Oh, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Yep. Yep. Okay. So meat hook for five. Boom. That is exactly what we wanted. Up to 12 life. Uh, we'll play some Leastus. Um, and we'll take um, Test of Talents. Okay, 27 life though to get down. That's a lot of life. Varys is nice. Venture into, venture into a dungeon. Oh, Red is 7. That was two powerful cards. Cause me to have a sip of my Dr. Pepper there. Okay. They prepare for war. Um Let's do this first. Oh we uh, no, we 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 do oh then they keep the eight, but we do have a blocker. Let's do this. Oh that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. So let's do. Mm, but if we do consuming, we have to. Oh, but it does send back our own. Uh, going to um, keep Professor Onyx. Now, if they keep the 8 8, we can bounce. Get back Meat Hook. So good. Let's get back the Meat Hook. It's going to make it awkward for opponent. Okay. Um, send that back. Keep that on top. Um, play the Salistas. Keep back the Massacre end turn. Um, so let's... Hmm. Oh, is that only sorcery? Oh, it's sorcery. Um, Varys comes in. That spell is a little bit too late for us. A little bit annoying. That is a little bit annoying. We prefer not to fight. Second but mate. Another big back. creature. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, revealing the top four. Rich soil grows. Get one band. Okay. Let's play a land. Let's plus and find Talks Real. Lovely. Let's go That's exactly what we want. We keep up sorry coming. And turn. Counter. We get a slug. <laughs> Love it. The slug is now here. Test the talents and a sword coming. Create that tree folk. It's a 10 10, but we can minus on this. Greatest power. Festival. Uh, we will. Test the talents that. And opponent library. One. Two, three. Just have a little look. Oh, the Tarask. Okay. Find a graveyard. There we go. Let's get rid of all them. They do have a glorious sunrise over there that we can put some more one minus one one counts on there. Our turn. Okay. Let's do that. Sack that 9-9. Nine, nine. Is this source? That's an enchantment. Okay. And that is the win. We got one over on the salty one green. Oh, that was salt.
Personified. Right, on to the next game. We're playing Insane Banana. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Not a bad hand at all. Turn one duress for us. He's nice. Siphon insight. And three lands. So we can't really ask for much more than that. Let's have a look what we're playing against. What have we got? A Doomscar, Wedding Announcement, um, Sunset Reverie. So I think we'll get rid of that. As we will struggle to deal with that enchantment. It's a veteran. Okay. Let's do my siphon into. And have a look what we got. Okay, XR one of them. <laughs> we got a land. Well, we helped our opponent out there. They didn't need any more land, did they? We do have ways to get stuff shuffled back in as well, which is good for our creature. Uh, maybe we can dress it out. Maybe opponent. We'll discover what we got over there. Catilda Dawnheight Prime. Okay. So protection from wolves. Add one mana of this creature's colour. Human creature can add one mana. Okay, so it does build up a little bit. That's a decent card to get rid of. It's only a 1-1 one, one though. But you can pay 6. Put what one counters on each creature's. Um, does offer more though. So probably is worthy of destroying. Wow, we got some slow players on the ladder today. Right. We will play our Overgrown. And the question is, do I want to kill this now? I think I probably do. I'm okay with that. It stops the little ramp. Um, and it's a fair creature to, to destroy as well. Perhaps I should have some music in the background of these games because opponents are just roping. So you get faster play in the play section. I mean, geez. We're not playing like a world tournament here. We're in platinum just having some fun games, y'all. Come on. So that goes to the side. Right. Okay, hit for one. Nice. Well done. Um, let's play there. And I think we will... And turn. Um, let's do opponent. Siphon insight. Look at our top two cards. Opponent's library. X one and face down. Put the other on the bottom. This is our flashback of Siphon. No matter how long you take insane, we will not quit. We are not quitters. Oh, okay. Um, we'll take that. That seems decent. We'll have our own Catilda Matilda protection from werewolves. Hopefully we draw land. So we got the option of double blue. And there, there's another Luminarch. Um, mana is still a little bit, but we got Field of Ruin. We can destroy one of these. I think... Get one of the colours we desire. Probably blue at this point. Lunark may be attacking. Could be attacking. Opponent is thinking about it. Come on, insane banana. You know you can do it. You can click through. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to have to leave up the zero. Um, because I need to go to the um, sideboard and go and get our land producer. I mean, we just take two again. Hold that over there. Opponent has quickened up a little bit, which is nice. Let's send that back. And get environmental. Still no land. Bit annoying. Uh, I think we get blue. Get the blue. Um, leave out the counter magic, I think. Maybe a opponent will just play the one. Join a dance. Okay. We will use test of talents. So, sunset, cigars. Okay, opponent library. One, two, three. And get rid of that. Put them into exile. There's a little lunak. Okay. Um, we still can't do that. Um, let's go with Katilda. And do I leave out the counter magic? And this does cost six. They're not going to be playing that yet. So let's do this now. I'm not giving the extra mana. Let's do that. Go and get ourselves some black mana. So in longer games today, uh, so probably won't be as many matches. Okay. Oh, the one one's going to be great to do here. Sunset Reverie, draw a card. Does he have first strike? Okay, perfection. Let's play that. Do this for one. We will kill all them. Gain some life back and leave up our sorry coming ready. Three, four, five, because they could get six mana ready to play the summons. Okay, Luminous comes in. That's fine. Another Luminous. And another Luminous. <laughs> right. So. No. <laughs> no. No, I don't want to do that. Um, what do I want to do? I think I will just pass the turn. And get ready to counter this. Laid to rest. Um, hmm. Probably go return an island. Three, six, that I do need that island because I want to be playing Toxreal. Do I want to be countering this? Because the counters is important. Creature control get 1-1. One, one. Counters on them have toughness. Um, can't actually counter it. Just realised I used my other blue mana. So we're just waiting for an opponent to put this into play. So in comes the Laid to Rest. Let's play Toxreal. And they both go. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Toxreal comes in. Uh, this opponent is just like the first one. It's just like an absolute roper. Um, I never get why people have this amount of time in their life to actually do this. And it is about time that... Arena found a way to punish these sort of people because the program can work out what they may need. I mean, occasionally there's real reasons for all this. There really is. Uh, maybe Insane Banana just has like the worst internet ever. And it's just, or maybe they're playing, I don't know if you can play on your phone from when you're playing someone like that, but 
Yeah, they just quit. Uh, we rank up again. Sorry about these players today. There's just nothing I can do when I'm recording. Um, I could be here all day. <laughs> trying to record people that would just actually have a match with me. <laughs> but the deck is getting wins, and that is what we want. Right, playing Puke Daddy 2000. Interesting name. Um, can we keep... Well, I think we give it a go. I think we give it a go. Let's go. Calm the bat down. I have a Vecina. It's nice. Okay. Nice. Like it. Um, we will go here. And pray for that third land so we can get the Salises down. Please. Please. So, end of battle, draw a card, you lose two life. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two. If you do draw a card and lose two life. I've actually played someone that actually killed himself for that. In the end, I think it was on, on purpose. Um, wow, this is interesting. So, no. Get rid of one of them. I mean, two land, maybe dodge. But looking at what we had, you know, one drop, three, three. Meat Hook Massacre. I feel like this was a pretty decent keep. Um, but I might have shot myself here in the butt. Revitalize. Okay, nice. Land. Come on, yes, at last. Right. That's better. Right, now we're rocking and rolling. Let's go. Any creatures over there I can bounce so I can scry? It will be lovely. Which secondary commands one to enter turn is Right, okay. I saw this played against me earlier as well, so maybe there is a little bit of a deck out like this thing, because I did see this played against me earlier. Okay. Hmm. Now we could send them all back. But I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave up the divide. And then I could send back, if I'd like. Um, they could create a token, which then I would bounce so I can scry, and then there's no me possible sack effects to draw cards. Which they are going to do. So, resolve. Send that back. And we'll take that land. Pass. Okay. And we still have the divide, which is nice. So two mana, three mana, three mana. No green map. Are they playing? Maybe not playing the green mana. Cosmos Elixir. I love the use of artifacts here. Really, I'm appreciating that. Um, what should we get? We're getting environmental. We need to draw lands. So, we've got good target for consuming here. We get, we get to keep the Salistas. So, we can play a land, play our environmental, um, get one of these. Lovely. And can't play consuming. We'll keep up the divide. See if opponent wants to drain himself some more. No. Oh no, they didn't, they just drew. Okay. Um can send this back again. The Salistas is being looked at. Sanctify. Okay. Um, do we want to keep that now? We'll do that. Now, if opponent doesn't play this, um, I think I'm going to send that back. And I'm going to get more land. 
Let's get more land. What do we get rid of there? Uh, okay. First thing comes back in. Fade in hope. Now I'm going to do witness. And I'm going to put back in Celestus. Um, there. There. And there. And then look at the top card. See what we got. So the mill effect doesn't help us, you know, doesn't bother too much. I mean, we got two meat hooks in hand already. So I think I'll go with shipwreck. And then play an environmental. And hopefully soon we'll find what we need. Let's just get one of these. And okay, well, we'll pass the turn. So we've got Consuming Tide to play next, which means we'll be able to bounce everything there. Um, this is cool. You know, with a little bit of life gain, I've seen it, but opponent's not utilising it. Um, considering no threats on the board, maybe they will now. Two Cosmos. Nice. Okay. So that's going to be a good Consuming Tide. So yeah, gain two life, gain two life. Okay, so let's play here. Let's play Consuming Tide. So opponent gets to keep one. And all the rest. I mean, they've got a lot of mana. It's just it's just slowing the game down. This is what Dimmy Control does. You know, you've got to be a lover of control to be able to play Dimmy Control. That is pretty sweet. So we get one of these. Uh, what's in there? Me Hook Massacre. Not worried about that. Oh, Cleave. Exile Tap Creature. Um, I have a senior. Uh, hmm. This is really hard what to take, so I think I'm going to take the Cauldron. Um, I've got Test of Talents and I've got Bounceage for these sort of kill stuff. Uh, but no creatures over there. Which is going to be an interesting game. I think something like Onyx is going to be what we need to find. Before oh, we don't need another one of them, that's for sure. Um, past turn. Yeah, we definitely don't need another one of them. Opponent's just going to draw through their whole deck. Nothing coming at us. Okay. Okay. We're drawing now. We're drawing now. Good bit of scry. Gets put on top. I don't take the two. I mean, I suppose then if they can't play anything, they'll be discarding soon. Um, they do have Cave of the Frost Dragon there. But we can kill it. Okay, foretold. Still nothing. Okay. Uh, and there is it coming. Okay. Let's kill. Don't have to worry about the life. Bone is just gaining life and drawing cards. Look, I don't think Puke Daddy knows that we're the blue deck and we're meant to be the ones like out drawing our opponent. Oh, now that's what we want. But I really need another land. I really need another land. Uh, let's do it. Really um, I'll take the land. <laughs> Just in case there's like instant or source removal, I can then use Test of Talents. I mean, white ores off is probably more enchantment removal. Why doesn't this say planeswalkers as well? It'd be great. I mean, if I got it in hand, 
Meat Hook Massacre, okay. Does nothing. We could play, we, we might as well actually play one of ours and just, you know, to get the same thing going. There's another cave dragon there. A tap tower one. Scry. Okay, come on, Professor Onyx. Liliana, do your thing. More life, more cards. How many cards have got left? 30. Well, feels like they've just drawn loads, but clearly they haven't. Um, what we got? Oh, I think that's a good foul to play. I think that's a very good card to play. Now we can get our meat hook in. Potentially. Okay. Nice. Um, actually, no. Let's leave up this. Oh, we can nearly get to the minus eight. Oh, oh. We do have divide by zero as well. Which we can then go and get our return from graveyard card. Now, what's coming down first? Cosmos. Let's send that one back. Bit of drainage. Send the first one back and we will get confront the past. Just to help us out, and we've got test of talent still. That can come in. Feel like I said Onyx was the card that I thought we needed. And we've got a way to get it back now as well. Consuming Tide? Freaking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. Get life back. Spare Mage Discard card. If they don't, they lose three love. Repeat this process. Oh. But look at, I mean, just look at the cards. My opponent's got a discard now. So many cards in hand. Sounds like a real good match, this one. Lots of discard going on. Hopefully your opponent's got enough time. Maybe Meat Hook Massacre will probably go. There we go. Okay, land. We will plus again. Well, Field of Ruin. Nice. Play the land already. Um, play for zero. Um, and then I think we will just pass the turn. Now, we could have used this to get the creature back. Um, sorry. Um, no, we couldn't. <laughs> I'm thinking it does creatures as well. Yeah, know your cards. Read the card. It explains the card. Read the card. Explains the card. We're going to minus eight. We can minus eight. I'm not going to, though. Or shall I? It would be quite funny. But they can just discard loads of cards. Um, let's return that. Ba boom! Sweet. Return that cave. Um, land definitely don't want. Yeah, we got field of ruin to deal with that as well. These are my favourite types of game. Everyone, sometimes. People like speedy magic and it's not, you know, they think, oh, but this is really tactical. I love these type of magic games. This is why I am a blue mage. It's a matter of life. Okay. Oh, Sorin. We could get Sorin into the field. Oh, that would be good. That would be good. Okay. Field of Ruin. We're going to plus. We're going to take the Sorin. Um, I never thought I'd miss the line let's kill the dragon. Uh, get a swamp. And then uh, we're on 24 life. Let's get Sorin in. Um, reveal 
opponent knows we have a counter spell now. <laughs> so we just end the turn. If I don't do anything at end of turn, I will play Siphon Insight. Uh, but I, I want to leave up the counter magic if I can. 14 life. We can minus 8 next turn. But I do really I, I do like what Puke Daddy's, you know, what deck's doing here. I do like it. Nice brew, my friend. Okay. So we do that. Then we will siphon. Mill. Just the two cards. We got 17 cards left. We got that's getting close. That is getting close. Let's drain a bit here. Um, oh, do, do you know what? I don't want that. I'm just going to take the land. <laughs> I don't want the other one. <laughs> I don't want that one. Right. 17 cards. Opponent's got a fistful of cards over there. Okay. I do hope you're Here we go. They lose three life. We've got to repeat the process six times. So there's going to be a lot of discard here. A lot of discard. Now, I think we probably played a creature with Soren now. <laughs> nice. Let's go in there. Let's play this. Have I not? I've not got one of my creature lands yet. It's hilarious. Um, do next and end the turn. Okay. Will they pay the two? I don't think so. So, 16 cards. I wish I had counter ability. I wish I did. Can opponent gain life? They're going to gain life there. We have counter magic. Meat hook massacre. That's more drain. We could actually, actually, I think we can actually win now. Oh, I was going to hopefully test the talents, but it went too quick. I could have tested the talents, then returned this. Beat Hook Massacre. Drain. There we go. Hive Tyrant. Okay. Nothing there. One life. We've just got to cast a spell. And that is it. That is it. Gain some life. Up to three. Each opponent mills cards. So we're going to get the Hive Tyrant's gone. Jaress is gone. Look at these cards. Okay. Siphon Insight. And we flashback. There we go. We'll take the elixir. Siphon insight for the win. Oh, that was gorgeous. Some great win. I mean, it's a long video, but it was only fewer games today. But we really, the deck is strong. Loving it. And um, yeah, Professor Runix, I think, you know, we might have to up that to two, you know. That might have to be two. Um, but we do have the recursion in the card that we have. We will claim our prizes. Uh, but this is a serious, for me, serious ladder ladder um, climbing deck. I think it's really cool. Uh, Consuming Tide did really well. 
Uh, witness the future. I do like. I do like that card. Um, possibility could go one more Onyx. Possibility one more Onyx. And then maybe what would you drop? Uh, maybe a Miha go to three. I don't know. Four, you know, it was a bit dead in our hands. It seemed a bit excessive, but I think the deck works really well. And um, should definitely give it a try if you can put it together. Give it a try. Toxreal is a fun card to build around. And um, yeah, big power. Sorry some of those games were slow. Opponents today just didn't want to play. Um, but it was on the ranked, and we ranked up. Come on. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, smash the like. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks to my patrons. I appreciate that. If you want to support me extra, not only have you watched the video to the end, so big thumbs up from me to you for doing that. If you're still here, let me know in the comments. Um, but check out the Patreon anyway. Uh, but you lot take care, and I'll see you on the next video.